Hello, I thought I would just take a walk out into the yard and see what's blooming today. The sun has come out slightly at least, so it's bright outside. Here you can see my window box. These flowers have been out all winter except for a couple of nights when it was freezing. Oh, there's Miss Mimi. Miss Mimi's having some fun in the sun today. I have a pitcher plant that has a bud on it. It's not quite blooming yet. And I have two potted Laura Pedalums. They make a really good plant to have in a pot because they stay purple most of the year and then in this, this time of the year they start uh, blooming. I have two pots like that. Just some pansies. Another Laura Petalum. You can sort of see the palm collection that I've got. I'll go into another that in more detail another time. But this is my deck area. This is what I call my courtyard area. I showed you the blooms on the hyacinths a couple days ago and you can see they've passed now. But the plants still look pretty. At some point I'll get to cutting the top stuff. I guess I should pan more slowly. So you won't get dizzy looking at what I'm walking past. These are some bulbs that I planted about 10 or 15 years ago. They're one of the few that keep coming back and multiplying. I just planted these bulbs in the fall. This area was just opened up. I had this uh, camellia here, Queen Bessie, that I got from Bellingrath years ago, was huge and I cut it back severely. And so it opened up the ground underneath, so I started planting bulbs. This is another camellia that was probably about 20 feet tall and I hacked it back by about two-thirds last year and it's sprouting back but there'll be no blooms this year. There's Mimi following, showing the way. This is just the entry from my back gate. Sort of looks out over the courtyard area from another perspective. I thought I wanted to take a picture of these camellias because they're doing really well this year. I have four camellias. I don't remember the name of them, but they were really big and they were hacked back quite strongly last year. And it's really the first time I've tried limbing them up. Let me step back and you can get an overall view I sort of made little topiary trees out of them, little pom-pom tops. And this one, which gets slightly more sun than the rest, you can see it's absolutely full of bloom. It really looks pretty in the sunshine. And of course, you could knock the dead flowers off, but why? That's just part of life. You've got beautiful flowers, you've got faded flowers, and at some point, all those petals will fall to the ground and you're gonna have a coating of petals all over the ground, which is beauty in its own right. Here's a little fountain I don't have working right now. I don't keep my fountains working all the time because, quite frankly, I have wildlife back here that like to drink from them and will empty them out in a skinny minute. I do like to put benches in the backyard because I like to rest as I walk around. You can see here, it's not really a bloom, but I have some color from my heavenly bamboo. I didn't want heavenly bamboo for the longest, 
and I don't even think you can buy the big stuff anymore, the stuff that grows six foot tall. Uh, turns out I had a couple of bushes in the front yard that just keep multiplying, so rather than digging them out all the time, I went ahead and started planting them. It's just a picture of one of my camellias. It's a knockout, so no, knockouts are roses. Camellias is an encore. It's an encore camellia. And those are knockout roses. <laughs> Interestingly enough, they're the yellow one that does have a fragrance, and I was shocked to see rose hips. Had I been a little bit lazier and not picked off all the spent blossoms, I put a, would have probably had more rose hips during the year. This is a forsythia that's starting to bloom. Some bulbs to come, they're not blooming yet. This is just another little corner in the backyard with some little spring flowers here and there. As I said before, I like to have destinations in the backyard for you to go to and uh, sit on to relax. Let me back up here. I guess I'll go around this way again. I can't walk backwards. Okay. This is a huge palm in the middle of my lawn. I used to have three big oak trees here and they fell down about seven years ago in a storm and I had them taken out. And that is a, uh, a palmetto. I didn't think it was ever gonna get that tall, but it was at the base of one of the oak trees. And when they cut the oak tree down, they were probably about 150 to 200 year old oak trees. They just dropped the big chunks of oak tree over the top of this. and it was crushed flat. And this is about five years later. It didn't seem to be any the worse for wear. I've started limbing it up because it's a huge bush otherwise. And actually it's got some nice trunk structure underneath. And that's about it for today. That's all that's blooming back here right now. There's Miss Mimi saying goodbye. Have a good day.